Hello and welcome back to the Winter King. We have taken over pretty much all of Britain, which is going pretty well. Now we just have to do some vassal management to make sure it's all okay. Our vassals are a little bit chaotic right now and they will continue to be as we don't really want to make kingdoms, which is a little bit of a problem. So first things first, we're going to give away all the tribes that we currently control so we have a good idea of how many vassals we actually need to get rid of. So... This guy, rename it to that one. Basically, we're giving our uh, our the reason why we're do giving uh, our vassals like we're giving we're making these people our vassals. People of high martial, the people who are not married, the people who are not in prison, not well, not ruler, obviously. Basically, we're spreading the power out between a lot of different people. What that means is unlikely to be a lot of revolts because nobody's going to be really powerful. Nobody's going to really threaten. You have to have a lot of people disliking you across the board to make that happen. So that's good. Also, if you spread out power and then and then give it to like a duke, it means that he's unlikely to be taken over. So you can actually invest in him a little bit more. Well, if the duke has like a count underneath him who has three titles, that, that duke's likely to lose his power and then you've got a count who's taken over that land and then you have to make him like you more and it's just a little bit more unstable. Now, we're giving it to people who have high martial because we really want commanders, and people who have high martial just tend to, like, have, see, all of these guys, brilliant commanders, brilliant commander, brilliant commander, brilliant command, commander. They all tend to have traits like that, and then they pass them on to their children. They have good genetic traits for that sort of thing. They pass on stats because they tend to educate their children. So basically, by giving everybody in the realm martial, we're making our whole realm better at martial. So, that's the logic. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. It's kind of, you know... It's kind of straightforward once you, uh, you know, once you kind of get in that mindset. We're going to keep our three bits of land. So we have 12 too many vassals. So what we're actually going to do, a better way of doing it, that what we could do is we could look at this and we go, okay, so where are the individual people? Where do we want to give away land? Now, there's another way of doing it. What we do is we go into find vassals, right? Or find, char find characters. Let's just save our filter for just now so we can get them back to it. We'll load an empty filter. We are looking for people who are in our realm, who are, oh, yeah, uh, we're looking for ruler, that's it, yes, and then we go low rank, then we just go down until we get to the point where we are at, um, well, well, that's not going to work, yeah, it's not going to work, we're going to have to do it this way, I was thinking that we could do it this, that way, because it might be, look better, but we can't, because that's going to show us everyone in our realm, what we want to do is just people who are underneath us, so we'll go to vassals, and have a look at our rank. We're going to go down here. Anyone who is a count, we're just going to go, okay, are they a mercenary company like this guy? Then we can't, don't put him underneath anyone because he doesn't count towards vast limit. Next guy, not in a mercenary company. Where is he? He's up here. Well, uh, what's he does your part of? He's does your part of this earldom. Okay, that's not very helpful. He's does your part of this kingdom. Again, not very helpful. Okay, who's nearby him? Draw Powis, or we have Elmet. Uh, or we're going to give them to Elmet. So, there we go. No, that's the wrong one. Uh, we want to go to Transfer Vassalage. And we're going to give this guy over to him. So, Lindum. Uh, there we go. Lindum. There we go. Then we just go back to our list. 44. Next person on the list. L. L is looking great. Like, a great choice for Gwarth. Or Gravath. So we'll just grant, we'll just transfer him over. What's the name of the guy? The name is Issa. So Issa of L. We're gonna transfer him over. Issa of L. There we go. That's that one sorted. Uh, let's just get that better. That looks a bit nicer. Right. Next one is this guy down here. That looks like a great choice to join whatever this duchy is. So we'll just transfer a vassal over here. Uh, what's, what's the land called? It's called Cap You Something. Okay, Cap You Something. There we go. That'll do. So, there we go. A little bit more land. Let's see who's next on our list. Next on our list is Arundel down here. Looks like they'll be perfect for the Belgae. So, we'll just uh, transfer them over here. Um, tran well, just Arund Arundel. Let's transfer a vassal. Okay. Just looking for Arendelle. There we go. He's transferred over. Change the map mode. We can see we've given that land away. Right, next one. Uh, this one, which is over here. Um, 
Now, I think I want to give it to this guy because I don't want to make this one too strong. Again, when you're giving out titles, you tend to want to give them, you want to kind of keep it spread out. Because you don't want anybody to be particularly stronger than anyone else in case they get ambitious. If they get ambitious, they're just going to join factions. It's going to be a problem for you. I mean, everybody likes us, so it's not actually that big a problem for us directly. Um, but, you know, not everyone will like our son. And we want to make the realm good for him. I think this guy's independent as well. He's a high lord. Yeah, but he's got one title. That's that's really not on, actually. Uh, okay. That's not great. We can't, uh, can't do anything about that. Next chief is over here. Uh... Let's put him underneath Gravath. Um, where we go? There we go. For Brand. There we go. Brando. Perfect. Only six more to go till we're underneath our limit. So let's have a look here. I accidentally clicked on the uh, epidemics ta uh, you know, thing in case you're wondering. That one's a little bit difficult to put underneath anyone. I'd, if I was gonna, I'd put him underneath that guy. So we'll, we'll keep him in mind. Um, next one is up here. I mean, come on. He's 100% part of this place, so... You know, that was easy. There we go. Um, I think that might even be de jour, looking at it. Brotherhood Horseman, Lord of Hen Vicious. Oh, you're only a... L oh, okay, so he controls two titles and he's only a count. Okay, we can put him under a high, uh, Lord. This guy, I think, can have it. Siri. And we'll just transfer him, uh, this hen guy, hen vicus. There we go. That's a little bit nicer again. Are you a high lord? You are just a lord, I think. Okay. So we could put you under Siri as well. I know he's our spy master, but it's not that big a deal. Um, no, he must be a high lord, because otherwise we'd be able to do that. Alright, next one on our list is... Oh, we have no other High Lords. And we're four, uh, we're four above our uh, vassal limit. That's not great. It's not great. Uh, how do we fix this problem? Well, unfortunately, the, pro the way to fix this problem is to create a kingdom. Because that's what you do. You create a kingdom, and the kingdom can then hold multiple High Lordships. Is that guy independent? Oh, he's a high lord. We have so many high lords who shouldn't be high lords as well. It's a bit annoying. I think we have to create kingdoms and we have to try... We, we can't do the cheese, basically, of making we making ourselves only have uh, duchies. That's unfortunate. Uh, we need to find a good one. Are you a high lord? You are a high lord. Okay, so I could just make a kingdom near you and that would probably do. So make that kingdom. There we go. We'll create that one. We're gonna, then going to give this guy, we're going to grant him this kingdom. There we go, include the lower titles. So he's very happy, he now controls that kingdom. Uh, let's just sort that out. There we go. Uh, we also probably want to give him Strongor as well. So we'll transfer Vassal, uh, Strongor, Strongor. We can't transfer that Vassal? Interesting. I wonder why we can. We should be able to. He's a lower, like, he's a lower level. Can I do transfer vassal on you? No, that doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. I guess we need to make, create another kingdom. That's very annoying. Uh, okay. That one's not very good. That one's not very good. Uh, alright. I guess we could put people under a current kingdom. So, we could give, say, Gwent to power, or Gwent to kingdom. Uh, we could give Siri to Gwent, I guess. That might work. That's for vassalage. I can't? I can't give Siri to Gwent. That's annoying. What if I create... This uh, kingdom here. I know I'm creating more more kingdoms. Then I gave Gwa or Gavath. I don't really want to. I, can, I could just give it to the same king. I could give him the kingdom over here. 
And then I could put strong gore underneath them. I put two underneath. That would actually work. It's a little bit annoying giving him two kingdoms. I don't really want to do that. I guess I put under Goeth, but that then leaves us with that only fixes one vassal. It's a little bit annoying. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll grant that to this guy. Yeah, I hate having to go underneath kingdoms here, but that's fine. Especially as the kingdoms don't appear to work. Like, it's probably because of the de jure system. But we can't. We don't seem to be able to tra transfer any meaningful vassals across here. I guess. Um, Malwu, we could probably put underneath this guy. And that would work. As our last one. There we go. Right, we are now underneath our vassal limit just. Okay, cool. And now everyone's paying us full tax again. Which is very, very nice. We need a new steward because we have replaced him. So we're going to put in... Uh, probably this guy. Uh, what's his name? His name is Cyridic. That's fine. And he can collect taxes. Uh, everything else seems fine down here. We also need to give away a new commander of Britain, which will be in that guy. That's fine. Uh, everything else looking good? Can we claim on the Kingdom of Kanal? Uh, for this guy? Oh, that works, yeah. That would be a good next war. That's a very easy one to do. Uh, he has some allies who are tribal vassals, but I think we could still take him. Okay. There's no crossing here, uh, which is normal, like in real life, but in Crusader Kings, like in the base map, there's a little crossing, which is why I thought I'd check. Uh, anything else we want to do? Crest is your claims we could do as well. What's the other one we can do? Turith of something. No, okay. Let's just declare for Kanal. Declare for our vassal. The reason we do it for our vassal is because that means that he will come underneath us at the end. If we declared for anyone else, they'd get the title but not be underneath us. Everyone's like, yeah, go for it. Cool. Call in our allies. Do we want to call in... Do we want to raise these troops? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, let's ransom our prisoners while we're at it. Do you have anyone who's a high rank who's in our realm, actually? Uh, this guy, maybe? Oh, we're, we're, we're releasing him. Uh, that guy? We release him? That doesn't do anything. That's fine. Uh, I think we raise up all of our troops. We raise up the fleets. Oh, and I get to try our new hotkey. I have tried this out before, but I really like it. So, if we do... Um... No, we want, we want the armies here. So if I select all the armies, right? There we go. Selected all the armies. And then I do shift V. Yeah, it puts everybody into ships who can go into ships. I have tried that before, but it's so good. So much better than the old way. I think I even did it in this series, actually. But, you know. It, it's nice. Uh, Can I get the remaining troops here? There we go. I want them to all head, like, over here. Which is where the boats are heading. Yeah, good. We'll all merge up, kind of, up there. Find treasures of gold and silver brought inside the grove. The smell of burning herbs permeates the air as you kneel before a small stream of water. You slowly place the offerings inside the stream and watch as they were taken away to be enjoyed by the spirits. Let's hope the she accept this offering. Uh, the guy joined our war. And despite our offering, it looks like the she have not accepted our attempt to at uh, bolstering your our relations. The druid says that your offering was seen as disrespectful and insulting. While they might not get angry, you must tread carefully. Oh, all right, that's annoying. Right. Uh, we could release this guy now. Get forty-five opinion from all our vassals. Nice. All the vassals now like us a lot. In fact, every vassal we have likes us a hundred. That's real good. Cool. Continue gaining our uh, stuff. Merge our army. Merge our boats. We good? One army, one boat. Seems like the right choice. In fact, this is all our army. I didn't even hire any mercenary. Well, I... Wait, I hired the these guys, didn't I? No, I didn't hire any mercenaries. Well, that's just not on. Right, let's head up the top here. Uh, and then we just want to kind of drop in. That guy created a principality. Just high dutch... Um, 
High Lordship or Duchy, depending on what you want to call it. I'm going to boat bomb these people. Nice. We caught a couple. Then we're just going to walk through Canal. There we go. Uh, want to go for their uh, capital first. Just assault that down. Nice. So now we uh, won't be losing Tekken War Score. We are looking for their armies. Is that the re that those are the rebels? Oh yeah, we want to kill their rebels for them. Definitely, if we can. Uh, we captured. Wow. Uh, oh, my commander was uh, captured and slain. Okay. And then he probably had Gavelkind or something. Yeah, so that's why his lands all split up between people. Okay. Well, that's not good. We're just gonna put him back underneath here. So we're just gonna go transfer vassal. You can go under him. Oh, look, they're all back where they should be. That's fine. Right, back over here. Uh, we're going to continue chasing this army. Oh, I actually think we killed the main army, not the Reb rebels army. Oops. That's fine. Are these the rebels? No, that's the main army. I do want to kill the rebels army, so I just want to have a look in here. Yeah, rebels. Go die. Please surrender your war so we can take your land. Well, so you're... So your liege can take uh, can take back his land, and we can take your liege's land. Uh, we oh we can't siege this. That's unfortunate. Uh, any more rebel troops? Basically, just searching for rebel troops. Oh, there we go. Kill them. People are embracing the Catholic faith. Okay. Uh, hey, why don't you just siege these rebels' lands? That's fine. Our child's expressed a peculiar wish. Uh, unsatisfied with the life of the warrior. She wishes to learn the Druidic arts. Alright. You seem like you have the right stats. Yeah, sure. Go, go and be a Druid, Viola. That's fine. Please, siege the rebels' capital. You know. I'll wait. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're actually going to get 100% from this. Cool. I said cool again. I said I was going to stop saying that. Uh, what's your war score? 100%. Well, could you win your war? We'll, we'll go hunt some great white uh, stags while we wait. 100% win your war. Kind of mad that he's not winning his war right now. There we go. Now we can go kill his army and win the war. Nice. Nice. Look how many people we captured. It's lovely. Head over here. Keep chasing. Oh. During your hunt, we come to another deep gorge, and we see the white stag on the other side. If we just went to the other side of the gorge next time, we'd be perfect. It was to keep going to the same side and just watch in the great white stag. Uh, that guy's de-sieging. 38 men. That's not good. I cannot help but overhear the stable master and courtier's animated discussion. Something about a horse and a payment due today, but the courtier and system paying the stable master later this week. I should intervene. I settled the matter and my stable ma uh, between these two people, and I tried to be as just as I could. And they still won't speak with each other. Oh well, but they like me. And that's what's important. Right, assault this down. And uh, 93. Assault this down. 95. Assault this down. 97. We're getting there. Next one. Assault this down. 100%. Enforce our demands. And all of this should be under Britannia. Nice. We wait a second to disband our troops. Nice. Over a vassal event again. We'll get rid of the boats. Um, can we seek treatment for our illness? Yeah, we still have it. So let's seek treatment. See if we actually get it this time. That'd be nice. Uh, and we need a new commander of Britain who is going to be Dynas. There we go. We are one vassal too many because we now have a vassal up here. It's unfortunate, but we can put some people underneath other people. How about this guy? Oh, you're... Oh, that's fine. He's, he's my new king. He's uh, absolutely fine to be alone up there. Uh, All of these people are kings. It's actually annoying me. How do we have... Do we have any High Lord vassals? Yeah, we do. Okay. You're a High Lord vassal. We'll put you underneath this guy. Can I transfer him? Mardok, protector of the Brotherhood of Britain. No. Uh, who's the high strength? That's that guy. Oh. Huh. Are you two part of a kingdom? You're part of my kingdom. 
so we could get rid of some vassals by giving away our kingdom. I would get rid of one, two, three, four, five, six vassals. Uh, I guess we do it. Not giving it to Mordred. Uh, not giving it to Dinah. Give it to... Well, Marek was quite good to us in the early years. Maybe we'll give him this land. We'll give him the hot... No, the... We don't want to give him that. We want to give him the. We don't give him the high lordship. We want to give him the kingdom. I guess we can't give away our kingdom. Uh, okay. That's unfortunate. What? Right. Okay. Well, we can make another kingdom. We can make the kingdom of Lindum, which is up here. What would this allow us to do? It allows us to put Gwent in another kingdom. That's not going to be helpful. Uh. Then we can create some high lordships. I don't care about. Uh, yeah, I just want to sort out our vassal situation. Ah. Okay. Too many vassals who all want, you know, like, I don't know. This guy, does he count as the next revolt? Wait, is he even underneath? Is he underneath us? Yeah, he is. Hey. Make peace. Um, well, I, I, my grievance with King uh, Gawain of Lothian will remain. I could not dream of refusing such a reasonable request by my liege. Nice. Uh, our court physician has come to see us and offers us treatment. Well, he's got 35. We're brave. Let's take his, uh, you know, let's take his treatment. It might cure us. He made us drink a draught of uh, a draft of uh, poppy before strapping us down to his operating table. He almost dozed off when he prepared his instruments, but when he raised his scalpel towards its eye, you felt wild awake. I am sorry, my lord, but we must remove the root of the problem. He, we're cured of our disease. We are, however, severely injured and one-eyed now. Oh no, that's not good. Arrange marriage. You would like to marry this person? Sure. Why not? I don't care. Apparently the revolt didn't count as a vassal. And now it feels foolish. Hmm. I kind of want to just say like, just join into one kingdom. Just, just, just join. You're, you're not large enough to be two kingdoms. Are you independent? You are indeed independent. Can I put you underneath so I could revoke his status? Uh, yeah. Definitely. He's rebuffed their demands, daring us to go to war with the battle-hearted warriors. Yeah. Sure. You're one vassal too many. Ugh. Oh, that's actually a fair few men. That's fine. We can grab some up here. Uh, there we go. There we go. That's not enough. Keep grabbing men from all over the place. Gwent, give us your men. Uh, you give us your men. Siri, give us your men. How many do we have now? 1,800. That'll be enough. We'll merge up here. There we go. Uh, I think we'll just keep these leaders and we'll just walk up to them. That's the wrong route. You want to take that route round. We have destroyed them. We're going to siege down their tribe. We're going to continue to siege down their tribe. We're going to disband... Well, we're going to end the war. Offer a peace and force the demands. Humiliated and defeated, CML of uh, Pituria has surrendered and agreed to our demands. The band of uh, Fodorati have settled down and largely disbanded. Though many Saxons still remain, their military power and threat to speed considerably reduced. The Saxons serve only at our discretion. Nice, we can disband. What's nice about this is this land is de jure underneath this high lordship, which means we can now give it away to this guy. There we go. Right. And that still didn't count as a... That guy didn't count as a vassal. Probably because he was tribal. Oh. Well, that was unnecessary then. They just lost us our 500 free troops. Uh, whatever. How can we fix this problem? Well, what we could do is we could change the law to allow us to have more vassals. Like if we change centralization to the other way, we get more vassal limit. Uh, all of the following must, one of the following must be true. Cannot change law for two years. Oh, we could change it in two years. Well, that'd be fine. Um, yeah, in two years we can fix our problem. 
Okay. I think that's the way we go with this. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Do we want more retinue? Uh, probably. We have quite a lot available. Let's grab some while we're fairly rich. Uh, so what do we want? Do we want guards? So that's 14 for 125. Uh, yeah, for 125 troops. Uh, that is 27 for 300. So in terms of retinue, I just look for troop number. I don't really care about how good they are. Uh, so that one is better. So that's 300 for 27. That's 250. That's probably the best retinue in terms of actual value, I think. As in not value per person, but value per combat stat. That's 300 for 30, which isn't as good as the archer's retinue. That's 300 for 30 again. Okay. Oh, but warriors are significantly better. Hmm. Okay. Um. Why would you ever, like, why would you ever go for the Roman trained cohort over the British swordsman unit? Wait, let's have a look here. No, the math works out. That is better, right? They're identical, aren't they? They're actually identical. It's 10 cost. No, it's one cost per 10 warriors. It's exactly the same deal. Okay. Um, let's just get the Roman one. So that's 10 per... Wait, so that's 10 per 1. This one is less than 10 per 1. So archers, but you get militians who are worse significantly. Okay, let's get the Roman ones. Let's get a lot of Roman ones then. That's fine. And then we'll get one British swordsman. Because it kind of fills out our, our numbers a little bit well. A little bit better. Cool. So that's 2,000. I said cool again. I said I'm going to stop saying that. I was serious about mentioning each time as well. Like, we got we got to get rid of this. Right. Head up here. Go park ourselves up north. Magistrate uh, Lucretius feels I risk too much for my escapades. Oh, well. I don't care who he is. Right. Merge up here. I'm just putting our men in Ireland because I imagine we're going to do a lot of wars up here. We have tributary wars we can do in these guys, but actually nothing else. Wow. Just tributary wars. That kind of sucks. Oh well. I think it's time to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.